get arrested. Get arrested. Right? Riding the train in Jerusalem. The people that don't ride the train in Jerusalem. It's an interesting thing. <laughs> Short round. We're having a little adventure here. Dr. Jones. On the way to the Holocaust Museum. A bunch of Americans riding the train. We don't know which direction we're going. That way, this way. We're going this way. We're just having fun. <laughs> did you get to the train? Julie, did you get ours already? You you take this All right. Oh, no. Oh, that's not going that way. We're going that way. Yeah, we're going to hop on this train that comes here. All right, so Dean knows where we're going. Well, that's kind of scary. It reminds me of the Follow me on the way. You got to get it to the bus. Mr. Jones. We just got our ticket, finally. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, so interesting. <laughs> Just got on the train and the door almost closed on us. Half of us. That was fun. It's like taking the bar. No, actually, the uh, light. Is it a light rail? It's the uh, above ground train in San Francisco. And we did not know how to get out of this thing. Take that. Look at this. No driver. The noise disturbs the driver. There's nobody driving, though. So we were trying to debate whether we were getting off or not. And this guy helped us out. He told us this, this is the last stop. So we get out and Dean starts walking off and we're like, which way are we going? We didn't realize what direction we were gonna go. But Dean started leaving us. I know, now it's red, but before when it wasn't red, I'm thinking it must have been green. Green right, lights so, Oh. Right, so now we're going to walk to the museum. What's up, Bob? What's up? Hey, you regretting this yeah. already? You wish you were the taxi. <laughs> uh, cold and wet and windy. Bobby, you were the first one to regret this. <laughs> Hands are getting a little bit cold. It's windy out here, wet. Getting it, waiting for other people to regret this. The first one was Bobby. I don't regret it yet. My hands are cold though. My hands are, my head's not cold yet. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this experience. I didn't get any video of the rabbi that told us the direction to go, but I heard that he said turn right. This is part of the experience. And I wanted to get some film on this right here. This, look at him. He's struggling. He's struggling right now. Oh yeah, we say we saved a few dollars each way. Yeah. You wish you were taking the taxi. Bobby and I are lagging behind. Bobby, how you doing man? Not good. Not good. Still on our way to the Holocaust Museum. We're in the torrential downpour. Here's Julie and Mom struggling. Here they are. Alright. Let's keep going. My hands are ice cold. And uh, it's getting colder. The wind is whipping us. And it's about 40 degrees, maybe colder, with the wind chill. I'm super wet and all I can think of is what Brother Hopkins, Pastor Hopkins, told me. It's wetter than you think, it's colder than you think, it's longer to walk up there than you think. So when you get to the train, you wish you'd have taken the taxi. <laughs> 
Amen. Hey, exactly. You are right, brother. Look at this. All right, Julie just said she's beginning to regret this. We're coming across the thought that we may be lost. We have not accepted the fact yet. Well, we're coming across the thought. So we're walking down this hill and there's nothing in sight. We may be lost. We don't know yet. Brother Fox, how you doing? Cool. <laughs> It's wetter than you think. It's colder than you think. All right, so we think we're lost now. What do you think, Danielle? I'm cold. It's colder than you think. We think we're lost. All right, so we're trying to figure this out. No, no, We don't have a shelter here. There's no shelter. We're just out in the rain. <laughs> you wish you take the back. We might be going back to the hotel. I don't know. In the rain, in the cold. How many people can wait, wait, say that? Pretty soon in the snow. <laughs> All right, we're, we're headed back up the hill about 10 minutes. It's longer to walk up there than you think. You wish you'd have taken the taxi. <laughs> We're gonna try to talk to the Hebrews. It's longer. Hey, this is our adventure for the day. <laughs> All right. We may not make it to the Holocaust Museum, <laughs> but if we do, we, have, we will have some stories to tell. And if we don't, we'll have some stories to tell. So we're unlost now. Well, we are, we're done walking up the hill. We're almost to the top. And Brother Zarn said that last time they were here, he remembers that they went left and people got off and went down the hill. So we went the wrong direction down the hill and then when we got to the top, we saw a sign that said Yad Vashem that way. And it says exactly which way to go. So now we're headed to Yad Vashem down the hill. So. My goodness. Do you regret this? Do you regret this decision? What about you, Mom? No. No, Mom does not regret the decision to take it's the train to the Holocaust Museum. I didn't even know the name of this thing until Brother Zarn told me. Yad Vashem. And he said, the last time we went here, I remember going down that way to the left and we were on the other side of the valley he said he said the bus went that way and let us off and then we walked up to it and yeah so there we go all right we're almost there i believe it's this right here Waiting for Julie and mom to get out of the restroom. We're here at the Holocaust Museum Yad Vashem. And we're waiting to go up, or I'm waiting to go up and meet our other group to go in. And I don't know, do I regret the decision to go on the train? Yeah, of course. <laughs> And uh, Pastor Hopkins was right. He tried. He tried to warn us. And Nate, Brother Nate tried to warn us too. And we still decided to do it. So, uh, we're going back outside to go inside, I think. their clothing, their houses, everything. And 
put him in these camps or kick them out. How sad this is. How sad. I would cry every single day if I was in one of these, one of these countries, really. One of these cities, one of these concentration camps. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. How somebody can treat another person like this. How a political party can hate people and others so much that they would do this to people. It's absolutely crazy and my goodness. All right, I'm making it through the, um, what is this called? The, um, oh yeah, the Holocaust Museum, Yad Vashem, and there's a ton in here to see, and I'm way ahead of Julie and, uh, Mom, but, um, Brother Fox, uh, Bobby and Danielle are like way ahead of us. Um, Dean and Shelly. Shelly's hanging back with Dean, but they're trying to read like everything. I think I'm probably like halfway, halfway through. Look at, look at how it looks in here. All right, this is one of the uh, one of the hallways in here. But look how it looks. I got all that left to go. feeling 30s right now it's got to be 30 something degrees out here and it's wet it hasn't been raining and well it has been raining but it's not raining right now but my goodness it is cold 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 that's what it looks like out here walk back inside of the Holocaust Museum area and I'm almost 100% sure that you're not supposed to go back in after you have exited that particular building because as soon as I walked in to try to get a little bit of shelter from the cold um, there was this one dude um, Israeli that gave me this look right here okay so you know you're doing something wrong when as soon as they spot you they go like this so. <laughs> and I looked at him and I looked like this and he said <laughs> so went ahead and uh, uh, stayed in the the it wasn't all the way inside it was kind of like outside but Kinda inside, if that makes any sense. Go ahead, tell them. Tell it's wetter actually. than you think. It's colder yeah. than you think. Cold it's longer to walk up there <laughs> than you think. All right. So when you get to the train, yeah. you wish you'd have taken the taxi. 